Hello guys, this is Biz Pixel, and today we're going to continue our Unity series <coughs> on how to create a game, a tutor game from the beginning to all the way to a functional full-fledged game. Um, so, on the last episode, we focused on just creating the character itself. But now we're going to jump into creating the spreadsheet for our character. So, right now, we can just minimize this window. And as you can see, we have our, we still have our animation for our character. And then, since this is 32 by 32, what we're gonna do now is that um we're gonna actually times that by ten in our next um file. So three twenty by three twenty. I I I believe in my graphic skills series I haven't taught you guys this. <coughs> so um what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come to custom grid, which is all up here, and we need to break this up into thirty two by thirty twos. So as you can see that each of these squares are thirty two by thirty two times ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we got 32 by 32. Might be a little bit too big, but just to teach you guys how to work um, spreadsheets, this might be something good to know in general, just in case if you have a f full set of different animations. Um, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to use a rectangular tool. And I'm going to just copy and paste. So as you can see here, I'm just copying and pasting. And then move it to the side and make sure I'm lining up the rectangular tool with the, the guidelines to the custom grid. As you see, I kind of updated my character as well. Um, I've uh, did a, a few fixes. I noticed that my um, eyes, when we, it was the character wasn't facing forward. It was more like facing to the side a little bit. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing all over the place. So these are my idle animations up top. On the bottom, I'm going to put my walking animation. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my jump. All right. So now that I'm getting deep into and well now that I'm looking at all my um, at all my my artwork I now can come in here and figure out what I need in terms of um, animations for this character so I love walking do 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 and jump whoop um I don't think I need a lot. I mean, simple two step, simple four step, simple one step for jump. <coughs> well, one thing that I forgot is that um, I forgot to put the platforms. So let's make a platform right now, actually. Let's see. What can we do? Let's make a some type of tile based platform. <clears throat> so as you know I'm just since I have since so what I usually do 
is that I create the character, then I create the tile sets for the character on the spreadsheet. This is just my way of doing it. You could do it a different way. You can make another file and start jotting down platforms, and then when you have all those platforms in that one file, you could just make that all in one into one spreadsheet with your character. But that's your choice. You, you decide. <coughs> Woo. Um. Sorry about that. Uh. So what can we do? We can. Make this actually a little brown and then add the green. <laughs> add some flavor. <coughs> All right. Uh, so it's, that's light. We want to make. Uh, actually make that a little darker let's put that to actually this is fine this is fine and then I could just add another dark layer under it For this color, I could just do the same thing. All right, so this could work. <coughs> All right, let's copy this. Move this around. Hmm. I don't like how that looks. So let's get rid of the black lines. this a little bit more instead of doing a full green like this let's go lighter put lighter top and bam got us off a little top something simplistic Then we copy this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit sick, so that's why I'm, a little, I'm coughing all over the place. Hope you guys don't mind it. Um, copy this, and then we can just make a different variant. Just shift this up. So now we have two platforms, two two easy platforms. flat one I can add um, a little flavor actually I'm gonna copy this whole thing actually no I'm just use my tool and just move it down I'm gonna make this a little more prettier and put like a little top like that <coughs> and um hmm. that's fine I can roll with that actually just make this copy this paste move that over Let's 
this like make little rocks or something. Maybe this is better. Just add some dentures. Let's zoom out and see how that looks. Yeah. That's good enough for what I want to get my uh, point across in terms of this tutorial. So we have ground, we got a character. And now this is the fun part. So we're gonna save this as let's say actually in my little folder I'm gonna add a tile set. Tile set. And then we're going to save this whole file as <coughs> little pistol tile set. Zero one. And now I'm going to. Now, the thing is that um, if you, what you want to do mainly is you want to make this as a PNG for what we're doing. So, we're going to go to File and Save As a PNG with Alpha Channel. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. We are back. Um, so we're going to save this as a PNG. With the alpha channel, of course. Then we're going to go back. We're going to open our folder. And we're going to see what that looks like. As you can see, now it's with the alpha channel on, you could obviously see the difference. There's no white border around this whole thing. <clears throat> All right. Uh, since we have that, we didn't go into Unity. I already opened up a new, um, a new project. I just named that whatever I wanted to name it, and this is what I get. So in terms of the assets folder, we, what we want to do is that we want to create a art folder so we can store all our art under the assets. This will be the subfolder to our assets folder. <coughs> so since we have that, what we want to do now is that since we have our tile set, it's PNG. What we're going to do is, is you could basically just drag and drop or you could copy and paste your choice. And we're going to drag that into the art folder. As you can see, all my, all my artwork is here. And now this is the most important part to the whole piece. What you need to do is that you want to set the texture type to Sprite 2D and UI. Sprite mode, since we're not dealing with a single art piece, and we, we, we are working with multiple, you want to set that to multiple. The pixels per unit, what you want to do is put that to 64. I mean, 32, my fault, 32. Now, the pixels per unit is important. I put it to 32 because that's what my project is. I mean, that's what my characters and my sprites, well, my sprites in general are made out of 32 by 32 squares. Since I have 
32 by 32 only makes sense to do pixels per unit 32 by 32. So how many pixels in the sprite correspond to one unit in the world? 32 pix 32 will correspond to one unit in the world. Uh, yeah, that's right. <coughs> so <coughs> we're gonna go to for a filter. <coughs> Sorry about that. For our filter, we're gonna put down to point so, so that our point is like the best one for um, sprites in general. This will make our edges sharper and just make our just our art a little bit more cleaner. Um, in terms of max size, I'll just put five twelve since we don't three twenty by three twenty in there. The format, what we want to do is put that to true color. That's the best format for sprites, in my opinion. And then we're going to go to Sprite Editor. All right, so we, we have all our pieces here. So what you could do for the Sprite Editor is that we're just going to split up our sprites. So what we're going to do is going to use the slice tool set mm, should we set that to automatic we're going to do grid by I mean grid by cell size so we're going to do 32 by 32 I'm going to pivot that to the bottom so the pivot points will basically be on the bottom of these characters not the middle not the top not the right to the, not the left um, and then we're going to slice this and as you can see, that Unity, using the, the smart technology they have for the <coughs> the slice for the spread editor, split all these to 32 by 32 squares. <coughs> um, actually, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do this. Although this is gonna get cut off. Actually. How about this? We're going to eliminate this whole square. And bam. So let's see if we have everything here. Four idle, two for walking, one for jumping, three p different platforms. And then what we're going to do is going to hit apply. As you can see, everything got split up. Everything. This is the amazing part of of Unity's um, 2D features in terms of splitting up our sprites. I love this. Absolutely love this. All right, guys. Well, I have to end this video here for today. Um, next week, we're going to get into the movement of our character, our animation and movement of our character. I'm going to teach you guys how to set that up. Um, and, uh, Peace out, baby. <laughs> Guys, welcome. I'm BizPixel. And today, I'm creating this video specifically for people who have the basics of understanding graphic scale and people who are using the 